Hey guys, what's up? It's Patrick here. Happy to bring you guys a video showing off the newest dark troop in Clash of Clans, the Lava Hound. So the Lava Hound, as many people have been speculating, is an air tank unlocked at Town Hall 9 that's super effective at soaking up damage for the remainder of your troops in an air attack. So think of it as a floating golem, but instead of targeting defenses, it specifically targets air defense. Let's go ahead and check out the Lava Hound in action. It's actually pretty quick for a tank, and after I drop it, you can see that the strength of the Lava Hound definitely isn't in its damage. It's all about creating a diversion for the rest of your troops to freely destroy the remainder of the base. So when your Lava Hound goes down, Lava Pups will spit out in a number of directions and deal damage to anything they find. The Pups are sort of like mini minions. They deal some damage, but they can get shot down pretty easily. So that was the Lava Hound by itself, but let's try to use a pair of them in this next attack. I'm going to be using 20 balloons, 1 dragon, 30 minions, 2 lava hounds, and let's just go ahead and try to take care of this base. So again, the lava hounds primarily attack air defense, so I'm going to want to drop them up front and then follow up with the rest of my troops to attack this guy's base. So what I'm hoping is that they'll take all of the damage and my balloons, dragon, and minions will be able to destroy everything else. So something cool about Lava Hounds, just like when Golems came out, it sort of opened up a whole different part of the game because you can use so many army compositions with them. So for this one, I used a lot of balloons, a pretty good amount of minions, and only one dragon. But I know that you can use a bunch of different army compositions when you include the hounds. So maybe two to four hounds, you can use a lot of dragons or a lot of balloons or a lot of minions. It really just depends what type of base you're attacking and what their type of setup is. So you can see here, I'm at 42%, we did get that first star, the hounds took a lot of damage, and then after they went down, my minions and dragon took care of the town hall. And then after, I'm just going to go ahead and drop the king and the queen on the right hand side, and those guys will destroy some extra buildings to get me to 50%. So overall, that worked out pretty well, and by the, times my, by the time my hounds died, most of my balloons were still up, and they were just terrorizing the defenses, so it made it really easy for me to get the town hall and destroy the rest of the base. So 58%, not too bad. We got 12 trophies, and since this is a developer build, we got a crazy amount of resources, but let's just go ahead and attack one more base to try out the true power of the Lava Hounds. So same thing right here. This guy has four air defense. I'm going to take care of the first one on the very top using my balloons. But you can see I switched up my strategy a little bit. Instead of going heavy on the balloons, I'm going to be using three dragons. So I'm going to go ahead and drop my hounds. They're going to go ahead and attack those two air defense. After those air defense go down, you're going to see them run all the way across the map to go to the fourth and final air defense. But even though they're all the way over there, they already did their job. And now my dragons and minions should be able to run their way to the town hall. So the balloons are working on some of the defenses. But again, they're not going to attack the town hall. So I'm going to have to focus on those dragons and minions. And then now that that wizard tower has gone down, the dragon should take care of that town hall. And I'll drop my king and queen on the bottom to wrap it up with a couple of extra buildings. So there's a bunch of different army compositions you can use. I've only had a chance to use them for so long, so I don't know the perfect strategy yet, but it seems like you can try a bunch of different stuff and have a lot of success using the hounds. So that's going to do it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you're watching this before the update comes out, let me know in the comment section what type of army composition you're going to try out with the hounds. But yeah, that's going to wrap it up for this video. Hope you guys enjoy the new troop, and I will see you guys when the update drops. Peace out.